Hello Aquarius, hope you guys are doing well. This is your love reading for March 1st through March 15th, 2019. So again, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Just love energy. So this will be the collective general love energy for Aquarius. March 1st through the 15th, 2019. You guys need something a little more personal, then click the description box. All my info is there. You can go right to my website and purchase your reading. Also, I'm on Instant Go if that's easier. Again, all that info is in the description box. Like, share, subscribe, leave your comments. As always, thank you so much for your love and support. All right, let's see what's coming in for Aquarius. These were shuffled already, but we do a couple more here at the beginning. Two more shuffles. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's coming in love for Aquarius? March 1st through the 15th. 2019 what do they need to know about their love life please all right aquarius let's cut her and do her and see what the hell is going on for you guys all right coming in right now oh i'm losing my voice we have the two of cups very strong connection partnership twos are all about a partnership could be on a soul level that kind of shit all right what's influencing or the challenge to that two of cups is the eight of pentacles maybe you guys work with this person on your mind, Aquarius, is the Eight of Wands in reverse. Recent past Aquarius, we have Judgment, Major Arcana. The situation, or why everything is happening, we have the Emperor in reverse. Coming in, what are you going to experience? The Three of Cups. How do you see yourself right now, Aquarius, as the King of Pentacles? Outside influences, so in your environment, the energy they're bringing is the Nine of Swords. In your emotions, Aquarius, we have the Strength. Most likely outcome for you guys is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. All right, let's take a look at the bottom of the deck here and see what the hell we have. All right, the overall energy, we have the Knight of Swords. So this could definitely be y'all, your energy, right? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. These knights are coming, they're going. They're always in pursuit of something, okay? The overall energy, this is really fast energy, though. It could be communication. It could be some aggressive communication or arguments or that kind of thing. Or it's just somebody's rushing in. It's very, very fast energy. Coming or going, okay? We'll clarify and see. Now, coming in, we have the Two of Cups. Okay, so again, that partnership, very strong connection with somebody. Okay, twos are all about, obviously, partnerships. And it's on an emotional level. We've got the Cups, which is emotion. Now, the influencer, what's challenging is this Eight of Pentacles. Some of you guys work with this person, I have a feeling. Okay, but the challenge could be to keep putting work or effort as well into the situation. On your mind, Aquarius, is the Eight of Wands in reverse. So delays right or a lack of change a lack of movement maybe you've um, cut communication with somebody maybe somebody blocked you or you blocked them all right now the recent past we have judgment so this is kind of like healing the past rising from the ashes it could be a second chance was given to somebody in the recent past or some type of resurrection but judgment is also like making a very life you know it's a very important decision it's a judgment call somebody may have been judging you too as well with judgment I'm getting a lot of like work feel here, okay? Something going on in work. Not for everybody, but I'm just saying. Because the situation is the emperor in reverse. This could be an authority figure. Major arcana for Aries, okay? The situation or, or everything's happening because of this emperor in reverse. This is a lack of stability or a lack of power. It could be somebody that just has no boundaries too. This emperor in reverse, somebody's out of control or something. There's a situation that's just you or the other person feels like you have no control or power, okay? And so on your mind is just because of some delay or you're blocking somebody out. You've made this choice or decision. I don't really see this as resurrection in the past. I think some type of very, very big decision was made. You see yourself right now as this king of pentacles. So this is like money's good. There's a lot of stability within the job, okay? For those of you that are male, you might be a husband, father, that kind of thing. This king of pentacles is like really serious about work, right? He's all he or she's all about building for the future. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy, but again, within work, you know, money's good. And this is like somebody that takes care of the family or takes care of their situation and can do so. 
pretty easily. I mean, this person wants to build for the future. This is like a serious commitment or like really serious about, you know, the pentacles are all about value and worth and potential. Now, what you're going to experience coming in is this three of cups. We're going to have to see what this is. For me, normally the three of cups in reverse would be more cheating or third party, but we'll see. This could be just you guys going out with friends, having a good time, celebrating something. Because you guys seem pretty good. Like, you guys seem pretty stable and grounded and, it, you know, like. But this other person, so outside of you in your environment is the Nine of Swords. So they're having some type of anxiety or worry or fear, sleepless nights. You know, sitting in their room up late at night worried about a situation. Okay, we're going to see what all this is with clarification. See, because... Aquarius, in your emotions right now, you guys have strength. You guys are overcoming obstacles. You might be holding back from somebody too, Leo energy. You might be taming your communication because look, on your mind is blocking communication or blocking something. There's some type of stagnant energy from moving forward. A delay or a cut in communication. And in your emotions, you're holding strong. Like you're, you know, taking back control or overcoming obstacles and having a lot of strength to move forward. Outcome, most likely outcome, is this queen of pentacles in reverse. So we have a king and a queen here, okay, of pentacles. Now, this could be with the queen of pentacles, again, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, like who is she, right? Because this isn't you guys. You guys are the queen or king of swords. So we've got a queen of pentacles in the outcome. This could be just somebody that's more focused. This could be y'all's energy where in the outcome, you're just more focused on work because you see yourself right now as the king of pentacles, this is a very work-focused, you know, stable, grounded energy. And in the outcome, somebody here with this Queen of Pentacles in reverse, if this is not another person, okay, and we're going to check it out and see, Three of Cups, then I think Aquarius, that's just y'all's energy, like more focused on yourself, right? Coming in, having a good time, going out with friends, focused on work, not really about a relationship. It's interesting, though, because coming in, we have this Two of Cups. We have a partnership here. All right, let's take a look. Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus. What do we need to know for Aquarius? March 1st through the 15th, 2019. What's coming in for the zodiac sign of Aquarius? All right, I'm going to use the gilded tarot to clarify. Yeah, whoever y'all are dealing with, they're like worried about something here with that nine of swords. Okay, you got them all in their head, Aquarius. All right, let's see. Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus. What do we need to know for them? What's the advice? What's the energy coming in love for Aquarius? March 1st through the 15th, 2019. Let's do one more shuffle. Aquarius, what do they need to know? Help clarify this energy for Aquarius. All right, let's cut it and do it and talk about it. Cutting, doing, talking, chatting. All right, let's check out this Knight of Swords. That's the overall energy. I kind of feel like that's you guys because that is Aquarius energy. You guys are leaving, I feel like, something here. Um, could be some, again, aggression, arguments, that kind of thing. What's this Knight of Swords about? Why is this here for Aquarius? Yeah, the devil. You guys are leaving some shit behind. This is you guys. See you later. Adios, says Aquarius, and in a hurry. Okay, fast. Because you're releasing either a Capricorn or you guys are just getting rid of like toxic energy. You don't feel uh, like tied and bound to it. Like there's some negative shit that you guys are getting away from. Or you guys, again, just don't lo longer feel that like bond to somebody. You're releasing that. Now, the past, we have judgment. You guys have may have just made a decision here in the recent past to do this. Like kind of rise from the ashes. Why is judgment here? Judgment can be, you know, legalities within marriage, that kind of thing. But if not, it was just like a really important decision. Um, why is judgment here in the past for Aquarius? Oh my God, judgment in reverse. Hi. Okay, interesting. I feel like somebody wanted a second chance and somebody didn't is what I'm getting here. That just automatically came to me. In the recent past, somebody made the decision to not give a second chance or to resurrect something. Give me one more card on judgment in reverse for Aquarius's recent past. The Eight of Cups in reverse. See, somebody couldn't walk, somebody couldn't walk away. We've got this, like, somebody wanted to, like, heal, resurrect, rise from the ashes, fix a situation. And I think Aquarius was like, uh-uh, judgment in reverse. But this person didn't walk away from you guys or couldn't walk away. That's why they're nine of swords right now. 
Now coming in, we have the Two of Cups. Yeah, it's a strong connection, you know? Why is this Two of Cups here though? Some type of uh, partnership on an emotional level, probably soulmate. Why is this Two of Cups coming in right now for Aquarius? The Nine of Cups, okay? So this is wish fulfillment. I feel like coming in, somebody still has hopes and fear, or hopes and wishes here that this connection's gonna work out. What just fell out, you guys? Something just fell out. The Five of Swords. Okay, I feel like this is you guys taking back your power. They could, you could have been dealing, you could be dealing with somebody that's manipulative or kind of trying to hurt you or take advantage or something like that with that Five of Swords. But I also feel like this is just you guys like putting yourself first with that Five of Swords. But somebody coming in right now feels a very, very strong connection and they want to, they still want to partner up. Like you're their wish, Nine of Cups. Now, the challenge or what's influencing all this is this Eight of Pentacles. So why is this here for Aquarius? What's this Eight of Pentacles? Temperance in reverse and a Sagittarius. Yeah, the challenge is to still put work or effort. Somebody doesn't want to do it because they're not willing to compromise with temperance in reverse or cooperate. There's a lack of reconciliation, a lack of healing. I'm just getting that it's this other person because Aquarius on your mind is the Eight of Wands in reverse. Why is this here? Why is this here on Aquarius' mind? Yes, the Four of Wands in reverse. You guys are like, uh-uh, no more. Sorry. Sorry, cross watchers. You know, I'm just calling it like I see it. On Aquarius' mind is blocking. You guys have blocked communication or you've put a halt to a situation. With the Four of Wands in reverse, that's a breakup or a divorce. It's just a lack of celebration or happiness, lack of reconciliation. You know, it's just not happening. The situation is the emperor in reverse. Somebody was just out of control. Maybe somebody didn't have boundaries here, right? That's why everything's happening. Or there's just a loss of power and control over the situation. Why is this emperor here? Son of Aries. Yeah, higher fit in reverse. Okay, breaking away from tradition, breaking away from rules and regulations, not conforming. Okay, this is also major for Taurus. Some readers read it as an Aries too. Um, we got a lot of Aries energy here, Aquarius, but I'm just saying. Uh, the emperor can be a husband, too, and a father. And that hierophant is also the institution of marriage or like a traditional relationship, you know, religion, learning, all that good shit. But, well, we're talking about love here. Okay, so the situation is there's a loss of power over this marriage or commitment. Okay, it's just somebody's breaking away here. That's why everything's happening. So coming in, Aquarius, you're going to experience the Three of Cups. Why is this Three of Cups here? Why is this here? The Sun. I think you guys are going to be happy. I'm just saying, like, Three of Cups, celebrations, going out with friends and family, maybe even dating. The Sun, sign of Leo, but happiness. Happiness and cheer coming in for Aquarius. You know, look, I can't, I'm so sorry for anybody that this, you know, isn't great news for, but, you know, this is the energy that I'm seeing. This is happiness, and again, just kind of getting together with friends, like having a good time, and it's very healing energy as well with that Three of Cups and the Sun. You see yourself right now, Aquarius, as this King of Pentacles, so why does Aquarius see themselves as this King of Pentacles? The High Priestess in Reverse, Major Four at Pisces, okay? I feel like you guys are starting to open up, okay? Also, something obviously may have come to light, right? The high priestess in reverse could be the energy of not using your intuition, but that just doesn't make sense on that king of pentacles, okay? Um, you see yourself right now as very grounded, building for the future, probably very, very work-focused. With the high priestess in reverse, I feel like you guys are starting to open up. You may have found out a secret. Something may have been revealed as well. Could have been about a king of pentacles, but this is in the you now position. Why is this high priestess here in reverse? The page of cups in reverse, okay? So not following a dream, cutting communication, more Pisces, a lot of Pisces energy there. But that page of cups in reverse is just not offering the emotion. They're not committing, you know, it's non-apologetic as well. Okay, so again, you guys are holding strong here with that King of Pentacles. You're just not offering your emotion to somebody here, a lot of Pisces. Now, external to you is this Nine of Swords. Why is this Nine of Swords external to Aquarius? Why is this Nine of Swords external to Aquarius? What is this Nine of Swords about in their environment? Yeah, the Three of Swords. Aquarius, somebody is not happy, okay? I'm just saying. This is in your environment. This is what's coming towards you in your outside of you. Up late at night, watching infomercials, crying in their room, worried, 
heartbroken because heartbroken three of swords okay somebody is very sad Aquarius okay I'm just saying that's what I'm seeing here okay let's see why though why the three of swords there's a there is a lot of threes here I'll just point that out you know maybe you guys have moved on or somebody has but whomever you're dealing with not happy why the three of swords in Aquarius' environment? Yeah, the two of cups, because they feel a very, very strong connection with you. We saw that coming in, okay? They, they still feel a very, very strong connection, Aquarius, with that two of cups, okay? It's probably, they feel like you're a soulmate. I'm just saying. All right. Now, in your emotions, Aquarius, we have strength. You guys are overcoming obstacles. You're just moving forward, Gathering up the courage and the strength, probably holding back to maybe taming your communication or action. Why is strength here in Aquarius' emotions? The Eight of Pentacles, again, really focused on work. If this isn't a love situation within the work environment for you guys, then this is just you guys focusing on work. Because we see that as right now, you guys are just kind of closed off to love. You're focusing on work and money. And in your emotions, you're taming yourself from this person or you're just gathering the strength to move forward and probably really, really focused on work. Also, too, I feel like you guys are holding back from putting work and effort into this situation, okay? Most likely outcome, Aquarius, we have this Queen of Pentacles. Who is this? Who's this Queen of Pentacles? Some of you may have Earth in your chart. Or again, this is just you not really focused on a relationship. This is just more about going out and having fun, <clears throat> Why is this Queen of Pentacles in the reverse here for Aquarius's outcome? What is this? The Knight of Wands in reverse. Leo Sag, Aries energy. The Queen of Pentacles. Y'all might have been dealing with somebody that was younger than you too. Or just like less, you know, not as mature. I'm just saying. Um, but the Queen of Pentacles in reverse is again more focused on herself, himself, work. That kind of thing. With the Knight of Wands in reverse. This is just not feeling the passion, right? Towards a relationship or a person. It's kind of just putting a halt to the, the action, not taking action, not feeling the passion. It could be that you were dealing with somebody that was like really fickle, like in and out of your life too. Why the Knight of Wands in the outcome? Why is this Knight of Wands here in the outcome for Aquarius? Page of Swords in reverse. Again, not really wanting to even learn anymore. The Page of Swords in the upright. So this is y'all's energy Aquarius, obviously. But in the upright, this is like... They do their research, kind of the spy, the stalk, stalker, right? Like looking online, uncovering as a student, very, very inquisitive, wants to learn, wants to research, wants to communicate. Sometimes it's very truthful to the point, but in the reverse, it's just that energy's not there, right? They don't, they don't want to find out anything. They don't want to communicate. And also too, if there is communication from somebody with that page of swords in reverse, it's like they're lying, right? Or they're like not really communicating. They're just doing spying and stalking. And you guys just are not focused on this energy. You don't want to learn anymore and you don't want to deal with, you know, immature communication or somebody that's lying or, you know, not communicating. They're just keeping an eye on you. Why is this page of swords in the outcome for Aquarius? The five of cups, but somebody's sad. Somebody's missing Aquarius in the outcome. Five of cups, right? Looking back to the past, it's loss. Five of Cups is challenging energy, you know, again, regret, disappointment, because they still feel a strong connection, Two of Cups. Let's throw one more card on that Five of Cups in the outcome. Why is this Five of Cups in the outcome for Aquarius? Yeah, the Five of Pentacles, look at this. Two Fives, challenges, strife, conflict. <clears throat> Somebody's very, very sad and regretful missing somebody because they're being left out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles, okay? So uh, that's what I have. I want to see, for this overall energy though, I want to see why this devil is in reverse. So I want to see what you guys are letting go of or kind of releasing. Why is the devil in reverse here for Aquarius's overall energy? Why the devil? The four of swords. Yeah, you guys are just withdrawn. You guys are moving forward, charging ahead. That's you, knight of swords, Aquarius, very quickly, releasing toxic energy, no longer feeling that like strong tie or bond to somebody. And with the four of swords, this is you again, Aquarius energy. You guys are getting back your stability, right? With the four. Fours are about stability, but this is withdrawing from somebody. It's pulling away. I mean, look at the four of swords there, okay? You're releasing it and just withdrawing, pulling away from this energy. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. 
Hope it helped. Love you hard. Love me hard back. And we will talk very, very soon. You guys, take care.